He was captivated by the charm of Kormuk, the friendly people, and the history of the region. John always said that Kormuk was his favorite place in Sudan. I know that today John is looking down on all of us and is both honored and humbled that this secondary school for girls has been built in his and AR's memory. One of the most admirable things about John um, was his ability to get along with just about anyone. Um, you could see him interact with people and you really knew that he had the people that he was helping um, as a first priority. John had the ability to be incredibly humble but at the same time also serve as a representative to the U.S. government. He could talk to little children and then also turn around and be accountable and speak to the highest level U.S. government representative. From the time he worked in the Peace Corps on, clearly loved Africa and felt that this was a place where he could really make a difference. And for John, you know, making a difference really meant becoming part of the community that he was working with. And when he was deliberating about different job opportunities, thinking about taking jobs that might keep him in Sudan or jobs that might take him elsewhere in the world, we often heard about why it was that he wanted to stay here in Sudan and keep on with the work that he had begun here. Blue Nile State, and specifically Kermuk, an area that's been through war, um, girls that do not receive education, it has not been a priority. So this is a school that's dedicated to a particular population that is underserved. He would really um, be very happy in seeing a place that meant so much to him receive such attention and support from outside individuals. Now we're celebrating finally the opening ceremony of the school. They are cooking, they're preparing for the, <laughs> for the ceremony if you want to see it. We have three streams of classrooms and we have two dormitories and uh, a laboratory and a cafeteria and two houses for the director and the deputy director and teacher's quarters, as well as administration buildings and uh, warehouses, kitchen, etc. So it's, it, it can accommodate 120 students. I heard that when the girls first went into the school, there were screams and you know lots of laughing and crying. And for the first time, these girls actually had dorms and bunk beds. العيسم منال حمد النيل حامد حسب الرسول اللمين الريا السكن خور البودي العمر عشرين من القش من القش والأساس الأساس من برضو من قش يعني وقنا وغزازات بالإضافة إلى الماء كم ما في والغبار the moyo al-ghubar. The moyo al-ghubar. Can the moyo ma'afi? Ma'afi. 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 Ma
ايوه فينا يا مهندسين نجي نحدد المكان ده لغايه المكان ده نبنى لكم الموال كمان ناخد المكان زي حقكم كمان زي ما خدمتونا هنخدمكم ونشكر السحر انا بعديكم طوالي نخدمون برضه